Okay, I want you to go to classwork. I want you to go to math. And I want you to find this assignment here. Lines of symmetry. We started on it yesterday. We're going to do some more work on it. I want you to open up lines of symmetry so we can. We had done the first two slides the other day, so we're going to work on some day. We're going to start with slide number three. Slide number three says lines of symmetry. Is the dotted line a line of symmetry? And we have two big boxes here. Yes and no. We can see that we can drag the shapes and put them into whichever box think so who can help me with this first shape here with the heart if i look at the line they drew on that heart would both sides of the heart be congruent would they be the same size in this shape or Haley, what do you think yes or no 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 i'm going to grab the heart and put it in the no box The bottom part of the heart I can see has a point, but the top part doesn't have any point sticking down at the bottom. It's also got two rounded parts, and there's no round parts on the bottom part of the heart. What about this next one? It's like a wiggly rectangle. If I use that line on that wiggly rectangle, and if I were to fold the, the rectangle over or anything like that, but I have two congruent parts. Christopher, make sure you're focused. Make sure we're not playing around. Would it be congruent or not congruent? Who can tell me? Shadine? The, the squiggly, like, rectangle, right? Yeah. Right. Um... It's not congruent. It is not congruent. If I look at where it has the curves, they wouldn't line up. See, this curve goes up, but on the other side, the curve goes down. What about this triangle? Who can tell me if I took this triangle and I used that line, would both sides be congruent? Or not. Thank you. Yes. Yes, this one would be congruent. Both of my sides would be the same size, the same shape. I'm going to give you a little time. I want you to sort the rest of them. And then we're going to check together to see if we put them in the right box. So the rest of them, I want you to sort them. Either yes, they are congruent, or no, they are not congruent. And we'll check in just a little bit. This rectangle, who can tell me would the rectangle have a line of symmetry? Yes or Bailey, yes or no for my rectangle? Yes. This rectangle would be no, not the way that they drew the line. And we talked about rectangles yesterday because they can be kind of tricky. Think of like a piece of paper, Bailey, because a piece of paper is a rectangle shape, right? Right. If you try to fold a piece of paper diagonally, do the two parts match up perfectly? No. No, they don't, right? Because one side is longer and the other side is shorter. So when you try to fold this one over, they're not going to match because you have a long side and a short side. So the rectangle, the way that they drew the line of symmetry, is wrong. Now, 
if I wanted to make it right, then instead of drawing the line the way they did diagonally, if I drew my line like that, straight up and down, that would be a line of symmetry. Or if I took my line and instead of going uh, from top to bottom, if I went from side to side, that would be a line of symmetry. But on a rectangle, my line of symmetry is not diagonal. What about the arrow? Who can tell me the arrow? Are they showing me a line of symmetry? Yes or no? Bella, yes or no? Yes, they are showing me a line of symmetry arrow. This one's a little bit trickier because it does have a lot of points to take a look at, but every single one of those points would match up with one on the other side. So yes, that is a line of symmetry. What about this like plus sign look? Ezekiel. Yes or no, is that a line of symmetry? Yes. This one's another yes. Again, this one has lots of corners to it, but all of my corners would match. So that one's another line of symmetry. What about my square? Does this square show me a line of symmetry? Kylie? The square does. The reason why the square is okay and the rectangle is not is because what do we know about the sides of a square? What's true about the sides on a square? All the sides have to be one. Wow. Same. They're all the same. So if they make a diagonal line of symmetry and we folded it, all the sides are the same. So this time on a square, when I fold it, it would match up okay. And I can show you. I can show you. Sticky note, right? Square. If I fold my sticky note diagonally, This becomes a triangle, but there's nothing that sticks out or anything like that. Now on a rectangle, because not all of a rectangle sides are the same, because some of them are long, some of them are short, that's why the rectangle doesn't work diagonally. But a square will, because all the sides are the same. What's up, Jaylene? I was ready for the next one. Oh, you're ready for the last one? Okay, Jaylene. This triangle. Is that a line of symmetry, Jaylene? Or no? no, this triangle is not. If I look at this triangle, I can see that both sides of it would be the same. But on this one, look at my sides. I've got one side that's really thin and one side that's like stretched out really wide. So if I tried to fold that triangle over, it wouldn't match up. I'd have one side that's way longer than the other one. So that is a no. Okay, slide number four. Instead of giving us a whole shape, they want us to finish the shape. They started drawing it, then they put a line of symmetry here. We have to finish the shape. So I need to grab up here at the top my line tool. Click on the line tool. I'm going to see that my mouse changes to like a plus sign. I want both sides to be the same. So I can't make one little teeny tiny side on this one. It has to be the same. I'm going to start from the bottom of the shape. Okay. It goes one two blocks over so I'm going to start at the line 
and go one, two blocks over. Let's see. My line's kind of small. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here to the top. I'm going to click the button next to the pencil. I'm going to make it a thicker line. There we go. Now I can see. Okay. We went two, two squares over. But that doesn't make the rest of the shape. I still have a lot to go. So now we see that my line has to go up. It has to go up one, two, three blocks. Click my line again. I'm going to start from that same place. And I'm going to go up one, two, three blocks. When you click on the line, Bella, find the button next to the pencil. And that will tell you how, how thick you want to make the line. So for me, I chose eight. That seems to work pretty good. Okay, so we went to the side, two squares. We went up two squares. That's good. Now I need to go to the side again. One, two. The pencil, the one that's up here, really. The button that's got a picture of like a pencil with a line underneath. Kaylee, did you have a question or was your hand just up from earlier? We went to the side, we went up. Now we got to go to the side again, two squares, one, two. Start where I left, one, two. You got to click on the line first, Kylie, then you'll be able to see the pencil and all that. So if you're not clicked on the line, it's not going to show you that. You have to click on your line first, and then it'll show you the pencil and the, the button to make it thicker. If you can't see all of these up here, like on my screen, then look over here to the side. See if you see a little like arrow pointing down, or you might see three dots. Click on the three dots it, or the, the arrow pointing down, you'll see more options. We went to the side, we went up to the side again. Now we've got to go up again. We're going to have to go up one, two, three, four blocks. One, two, three, four blocks. We're almost finished. We almost have the shape. Now we have to go to the side. And the good thing about this, when I go to the side, I don't really have to worry about counting my blocks. I just have to go until I touch the line. Start where I stopped last time. Just make a line. I get to the middle. Now I have my shape with a perfect line of symmetry. Kind of looks like a T. When you click on the line, Kylie, next to that button that looks like a pencil, got a line that's it's got a button that has different lines on it, really thin ones, and they get up to make them thicker. Click on it, then click on a different number, a bigger number. I picked eight. Eight seems to work pretty good. There's one shape. We have another shape next to it. This one looks different than this first one. 
So this time I'm going to start from the top because the top is nice and flat. Got to draw a line that goes to the side. And it's going to go one, two, three blocks to the side. Start at my line of symmetry and move one, two, three blocks to the side. I move to the side. Now we need to move down. I'm going to move down one, two, three blocks. On my line first, and then go down one block, down two blocks, down three blocks. Now my next line here doesn't really go up or down. It doesn't go side to side. It goes diagonally. But the good thing is it's the last line I have to make. So I'm just going to start where I ended up. I'm not going to go straight to the line. I'm not going to go down. I'm going to go diagonal. And just go back to my line of symmetry. And there's my shape. This one reminds me like if any of you have ever played um, like baseball or softball, it kind of looks like the, the plates that they use for, for baseball or softball. 